Okay, so as most of you know, my main focus on this channel are movies and uh, from time to time I drift to the uh, another parts of media, for example, comics or uh, even video games, I once talked about the Dark Souls games. But uh, I never really talked about anime and manga, that's mostly because I was most interested in this, this, uh, this media when I was younger, honestly, like uh, from time to time I... Uh, like again, watch some old anime that I loved as a kid, but mostly it's past my age. But there is one series that I uh, really discovered in my older age and I appreciate it to that level that I think it's one of the best uh, fantasy related things uh, that I have ever seen, at least medieval fantasy. And that is Kintaro's Muir masterpiece, The Berserk. And uh, please, if you haven't read Berserk, please go read it. It's like great great stuff uh, he wrote this series for for more than uh, 30 years i think now and uh, he's still writing it so yeah we are talked about this new chapter of this story so please for you who, who haven't read berserk please go read it and for us who have read it guys hate is finally over like after eight months of complete pain like yeah we are finally here and uh, let's talk about this new chapter and for me like this is the best chapter we got since the Casca dream, Casca waking up like this. This was really interesting uh, chapter for me and that's mostly because I finally get to see like the kind of the politics of this world and again it's always great to see Griffith's authority and that ending scene we'll talk it at the end of this video. Uh, so yeah this uh, chapter starts with this council that uh, Griffith is having with his uh, generals and uh, like uh, ministers, politicians and so on. And from like, yeah, from the get-go, like, like the Griffith is the, has so much authority over these people and so much respect from them that anything he says, like, it, it is the most important thing because like they're all talking like well, what we'll do with this, uh, like, re like the gold we got from these uh, giants and like, uh, and they're like all kind of stressful, but Griffith is completely calm, you know, like he's the, like he's, the, he's basically the prince that was promised. And then a very interesting thing, like Charlotte says that she wanted to invest some money in the, like the charity, uh, like the orphanage and in the, ch and the children in general, general and uh, all these politicians are like, we must uh, like invest in more important things. But Griffith is just like, yeah, it, it is great that the Charlotte will do it. And everybody's like, but how? And Griffith just gives this plan and everybody's, yeah, this could work. I think that, uh, yeah, Griffith is for me one of the greatest villains ever, but uh, even in his like prep before he was villain, like it's always great to see Griffith like talking with a bunch of uh, people that are beyond, be below him. Uh, what I really liked about this chapter also, other than like, Griffith was yeah the politics like we never saw actually how Falconia is working and this is the first time we see that uh, part of the this berserk universe and I think it's very important for the world world uh, building for the world building uh, other than that uh, yeah we see Sonya again like acting all jealous on Charlotte and my biggest complaint with this chapter was like the most chapters uh, we got recently, the art style, yeah, I simply, this is too much for me. Like, I hope that he will shift when, uh, like, they get back to the, from Elhelm to Midland, uh, Guts and the company. And this is just because they are now on this, like, fairy tale kind of island, but I miss that gritty style that Mura had so much, because this is too much kawaii. Like, I can't imagine how the clips would work, honestly, in this, in this kind of uh, art style. And, but our style aside, yeah, let's talk about the ending because we finally got our long time theory confirmed that the Moonlight Child is actually Griffith. And it it is not a surprise for anyone, but I simply like, like loved how it was presented in this, like on the two panels maybe, like Griffith just like, like oh yeah, this is this time. And you just see like the window and then the branches of the world tree and Charlotte sleeping and the blanket is just falling and I like my era, like I don't like this his art style but the detail is it's still there like guys it's it's great like I don't have anything to say else to say so yeah now that Griffith is living in the form of the moonlight child I think guys next chapter it will be it like we'll finally realize what that Casca scream was at the end of that god forgotten how long ago chapter was and I can't be more excited about it
yeah that's all i wanted to say about this chapter like berserk definitely for me deserves one like the full analysis video on some character on the whole or the series as a whole we'll see it we'll probably create i'll probably do a video on it one day so yep i but i first have to do more videos on endgame so we'll see so this is it for this video have a nice day bye